Hey guys, and welcome back. So right here we have this Aper Coreless Robotic Vacuum Pool Cleaner. This is an upgraded dual driver motor with auto dock technology up to 90 minutes of cleaning for above and in ground pools. All right, so right here we have this Aper Coreless Robotic Pool Cleaner. This is the newest in technology pool cleaning. This I purchased for my above ground pool. My pool is a 22, 24 by 52. So this is completely cordless. It works on 90 minutes up to 1,076 square feet. It's lightweight, sub parking alongside. So the upgraded powerful suction with the powerful dual driver motors, which is 50 watt Seagull 1000 pool cleaner, can effortlessly travel the pool bottom at a speed of 52.5 feet a minute. The large capacity, it has a 5000 milliamp rechargeable battery that lasts up to 90 minutes, which provides you a better exquisite cleaning equipped with two wide suction nozzles, which is 5.5 .5 inch by 1 inch. The Seagull 1000 pool vacuum pulls in all kinds of matter from debris, insects, and small stones, and leaves up to 5.5 .5 inch wide. So let's dive into the box. The first thing in the box you'll see is you'll see the user manual and a couple of accessories that will need to be added onto the pool vacuum. So right here is the robotic pool cleaner user manual. This is the Seagull 1000. So here is the table of contents. This is just tells you how to turn it on, how to charge it, how to put your little string there. You need to put your little brush at the bottom. Some more specifications, how this looks like in three different parts. So now we're gonna pull this out right here. This is where you'll attach it to the top of the vacuum. This is your little drawstring. And then in here, you get your floating little paddles. This will go onto the side of the vacuum itself. You get two of these. And now you get the power cord, which is a standard 110 for the US. So you'll just plug this into your house and the other part you'll plug on top of the vacuum itself. Now here is the cleaner brush. This will be installed on the bottom of the vacuum cleaner. This is what helps get the dirt and debris off of your swimming pool. It is very soft. You can see the little bristles right here. They've got little clips on the bottom where you'll clip it onto the vacuum itself. So now the best part, we're getting into the vacuum itself. This is an upgraded large filter volume. It holds 3.9 liter. The pool cleaner is perfect for above ground pools as well as below ground pools, up to 35 feet in diameter. In ground pools with the flat floors up to 17.50 feet and can climb an incline up to 15 degrees. Also, the unit has one independent precise brush, ensuring a meticulous cleaning of your pool. So here's the sections in and sections out. You've got your wheels. You do have several settings to set these. I think on the back side, I put a 20 and on the front side, I put a zero. So down here, it looks like this is where the filter is, but it's not. You'll actually have to lift this up from the side to expose the filter. This is the plug. So when you're about to put this in the pool, you want to put this little plug over the plug-in so it does not get wet while it's in the pool. So first time I actually had to charge it, the charging is about five to six hours. This one here, you actually have to push it down really hard. So when it's not in use, you'll wanna cover it up so it doesn't get exposed to the water. This will help seal out the water. You just pop it in there like that and it should save this from getting wet. So now you'll turn this little knob here. You'll turn it this way, left is on, right is off. So when you get this and it starts blinking fast, that means the battery is dead. But if it is blinking blue slowly, that means it's ready to go. And if it's outside and it doesn't move, it's because you have to put it in the pool in order to get it going. So those little flaps that we saw earlier, you'll stick one in here and this is basically how it floats. So it just moves back and forth. 
and this is what it looks like on the side and this is what it is in the front so like I said with the settings this one here you'll want to do a 20 and a 0 depending on your pool I set mine as a 20 and a 0 if it's not convenient enough for you on that setting, if it's not covering your pool, you might want to check your user manual and maybe adjust those. So right here you have a warning, but there's a little clip on both sides. That's how you expose the bottom to get to the filter of this. You cannot get to the filter to the bottom. You actually have to lift this up on both sides. So once you grab on this side, the whole top part will come up. And then you can see the filter right here. So anything that this catches will be stored right in here at the bottom part of this vacuum. One thing to know, when you do pull this out, I recommend pulling out directly straight up because if you tilt it, lean it to the side, it will spill some of your things that has been caught into this little filter here. So that's just a little warning when you take it out, make sure you take it straight out or you'll spill all the contents in your pool, including dirt and debris and bugs. So again, we're gonna take this little flap and we're gonna push it right in here. It just slides in here. And that's all it does. It just basically helps with this floater thing. It just slides in there just like that. So the great thing about this is that now you have this little top part. You'll only put it up to where the deepness of your pool. So my pool was only 50 inches deep. So what I have to do is go ahead and adjust this so it's not super long and dragging it around. But just for testing, I just showed you like this. It's not so deep. You might want to tie this a double tie so you don't have all this wire hanging out. So here is the bottom of the robot vacuum. You've got these little things. Don't worry about that because it won't actually hit the bottom of your pool. So you'll see this strip down here. This is where you're going to put your brushes. It looks like it'll slide in there, but it does not slide in there. You'll actually have to put it in there and pop it in there because they got little hooks here. You can see the little hooks right here, the grooves, and then you'll just place it inside the little holes on the bottom like you got one for each little hook. So you just snap it in there. The best thing about this is that I like that it is a 5,000 milliamp battery, so it lasts 90 minutes. Okay, yes, it does take a little bit longer to charge, but this vacuum actually cleans up so much when I vacuumed my pool I had so much debris that I it picked up everything in fact I used to use the aqua critter and it took hours like over six hours just to clean it using my pump so that takes a lot of effort so right now this is my aqua critter that is connected to my pump which takes forever and you can't see the debris in here because it's kind of getting it but there is a lot of debris and you'll see that once I put this robot in there so now we're gonna switch it to the on side you'll see a, a slow flashing blue light it will not move on its own it actually has to be submerged into some water so let's go ahead and dip this in the water so now you can see that it is moving on its own you got the little drawstring at the top so it's just making its way around the pool this one does not climb the walls. They do have the, I think the 3000 or the 1500 model that does climb the walls, which I didn't need it because this is an above ground pool. So those ones are usually specifically for pools that are in ground so they can go up on the walls and clean the sides. So it's just moseying its way around the pool. The settings that I have on this one is I set it to a 0 and a 20. So the back side was a 20 and the front side was a 0. And it seems to be getting all around my pool with no issues. It moves very fast. I was very surprised of how fast this thing does move around the pool. So I got about an hour and a half on a charge to clean my pool. And then I had to charge it about 5 hours. Some people may not like that you have to charge it more than it actually used, but if you actually try this vacuum, you'll be happy of what it does collect on the bottom. So that is no issue for me. It's just moseying around the pool. I like the fact that it has the dual suctions. So when it moves forward, the back suction is open. When it turns around, 
and then the back one will open and then the front will close vice versa so you can see right here how the front is closed so now when it moves back the other way the front one will close and the back one will open so when it pulls away from the wall you can see the suction right there see how it's opening up so anytime it turns and moves forward the when it moves forward the back will open when it moves the other way the other side will open so this is a 24 by 52 inch swimming pool this one has no hesitations it moves fairly quickly for this size of a pool so I know these do pretty good on in-ground pools it only goes up I guess a 15 inch slope on regular in-ground pools. I don't have any slopes, it's just all one level, so it just rocks running around this pool. It's getting all the leaves, the debris. So now it's gonna go onto this side right here. Up on the wall, and then once it hits the wall, it turns around. And it makes around the pool. I cannot believe how well this thing actually works. You don't need a pool person to come and clean your pool. Just pick this thing up and it will do it itself. You just charge it up. Once it's charged, you turn the on button. Let it soak down in there. Get all the water in there. And it will do its thing for the next 90 minutes. And if you feel that you still have some more debris, just charge it up a little bit, stick it back in there, and it'll clean up the rest of the debris. It actually is so much better not having to have the hose on and the pump running all the time. So now that we pulled it out after it died finally, this is all the debris that was in this little machine under the filter. So the filter wasn't too bad. It actually was all at the bottom of this. It did even catch a wasp, which I am so surprised. So you have these little things right here, which open up for the debris to come on in here and deposit all your dirt and bacteria and everything that's in here. So this is as much as it caught. I don't think my other vacuum caught as much. So you can see all the debris. So now when you wanna open up the sides right here, you just open it up to the side. Right there and it lifts right up that's where all the debris comes in from there to deposit in this section right here you got one on each side so when it's sucking from the front and the back it'll actually bring the debris and these each one of these ones to fill this up these are a breeze to clean all you have to do is take your hose and rinse it out as well as the filter i actually clean mine out and it works again fantastic i would definitely recommend if you're looking for a nice pool cleaner this one here is awesome i like the fact that it is cordless it does have a very awesome 5000 milliamp battery so if you're looking for something to clean up your pool with and you're tired of using your filter system or the filter connection vacuums i would say check this one out i highly recommend this product